This look um, I just did on my $20 makeup challenge video. So if you wanna see how I did the makeup for this look, go over there and watch that video and you'll see how. So I have had a lot of my friends ask me, you know, what made me want to do drag when I started and how I started. Um, and I realized I haven't done a vlog on this channel yet. So I figured what better way to uh, introduce myself or for you to get to know me a little bit better than to tell you how truly Scrumptious got started. Now, when I was younger, I've always liked doing makeup. I've always liked messing with hair and styling hair. Um, I did play with dolls when I was younger. I played more with My Little Ponies was my toy. Um, I didn't really play with Barbie so much. It was more the My Little Pony. Uh, I also um, would, you know, my cousins were girls and friends in the little, you know, girls in the neighborhood who were a little older than me or about my age. Uh, you know, we would play together and everything. And I always liked doing their hair and doing their makeup and stuff. But I've never wanted to do it on myself. I have done it on myself in the past um, for the sake of other YouTube videos on my other channel, which is youtube.com forward slash comic boy. And comic boy is spelled with two M's. So if you want to go see some of my um, other acting skits and videos, you can go check them out on that channel. But um, for drag, for the sake of doing a full-fledged drag queen, um, I had, did not have any desire to do that. I never wanted to. Um, I knew that part of the reason why was laziness. It, I know it's a lot of work to do a head-to-toe -to transformation, learning how to walk in heels, you know, getting clothing that looks flattering, uh, you know. Um, the other part of it honestly, is fear. Because I knew that society, people in general, are not very accepting or supportive. And that scared me. So I was afraid to be a drag queen for um, a while. Um, now, I ended up starting doing drag about a year and a half ago. And the reason I got into it was because around that time, uh, maybe a little bit before, uh, I went through a very difficult time in my life. Um, I went through a difficult time in my personal life. Um, I also lost some people that were really important to me. Well, I say people. My One of them was my dog. My dog passed away. Um, and my uh, also my aunt who i was very close with uh, she also passed away and that was extremely difficult for me to deal with um, and shortly after that i went into a depression um, i started becoming more reclusive i did not i wasn't as social with like the people that i usually was i, I didn't spend time with friends um, i stopped doing a lot of the hobbies that i that i used to like uh, and it, I just didn't know how to cope with the emotions and everything. Um, there was a point where I did get tired of being depressed, being sad, um, and I started to kind of venture out. Um, I ended up making some new friends, got reacquainted with some existing friends, and um, that led, with the, with the new friends, that kind of led me to, um, one time they took me to a bar downtown, and I can't remember which bar it was, but anyway, that night they were doing a drag show, and I had never actually been to a full, like a drag show, and, um, you know, seen a performance before, so uh, I was watching it, and I was just fascinated. It was so interesting. I mean, it's entertaining, you know, generally speaking, it's entertaining because it's a drag show. There's comedy involved. There's music that I love, you know, and it's just watching these fabulous, fierce queens, you know, on the stage in these gorgeous outfits, you know, and, and they look amazing and they're out there, you know, performing and everything. And it's just, it's really captivating. But um, I just, I was a little bit more fascinated than just being purely entertained. Um, afterwards, the queens didn't just kind of go backstage in their dressing rooms and then just chill. You know, they came out and they were mingling and talking with everybody. Um, you know, they were just 
enjoying the club or the, the bar, you know, just like everybody else there. Um, so I actually got to talk to a few of them and, you know, we became friends and, um, you know, I had a bunch of questions for them and they asked questions. And um, shortly after that, I started watching RuPaul's Drag Race. Now, I did not see the first season when it was on, but at that time, I went home and I ha watch a lot of my TV on Netflix. I don't watch live TV. I watch Netflix. And they had RuPaul's Drag Race on Netflix. They had actually season two and season three because at the time season four was still in the process of airing on Logo. So um, I watched season two and then um, finished that and went and watched season three. And by then I was just, I was, I was sold. I was, it was so cool. It was so interesting. It made me feel less afraid after talking to the drag queens the, at the show and meeting them and, you know, asking questions and everything. And then watching this show, um, you know, where it just, there's a lot more people. I didn't know that there were that many drag queens out there. You know, I just didn't think about it. I mean, obviously we have a lot of clubs and things, but um, I didn't know or think about how many people actually want to do drag as well and you know they made this competition and it's it was so interesting and I was able to pick up a lot of tips that way I, I saw how to do makeup I saw how to do clothing and padding and you know just everything to give yourself a more realistic feminine appearance and because I saw how easy it was I mean it's it's not easy it's, it's a lot of work but once I was able to see how to do it, I knew that I could do it. I knew I could recreate it. So it was like starting to feel more comfortable with the idea. And I, I made the decision, you know, I want to give this a try. I want to, I want to be a drag queen or at least I want to, you know, do drag and I want to go out, you know, um, and I want to be fabulous and, you know, just enjoy the town, go to the club, dance, you know. So um, that was pretty much it. I, at that point, it was kind of my coping mechanism out coming out of a depression um, and something that I secretly have always wanted to do, but never had the courage to do. And it allowed me to come out of my shell. I mean, the, the process of getting started, too, was always was really fun also because I went around to like Ulta and you know other makeup stores um, and I went, because I'm a plus size queen, um, I went to Torrid and they, uh, you know, I'm, I'm going to Claire's for accessories. So I got this lovely rose and, um, you know, just, just went around shopping to put together. I did start off for clothing at the thrift stores because they're cheaper, but they don't really have pretty clothing in plus sizes. <laughs> but I did go to Torrid and to the other makeup stores to get my supplies. And I was nervous at first. I, you know, I didn't know how people would react. Um, but when you tell people that you're a drag queen, these specific shops, at least that I went to, they get excited and they want to know. They start asking me questions and I'm like, well, I've never done it before. And they get excited with me and they're like, let's get, you know, started. You know, let's, let's put together a look and, you know, what do you want to wear? You know, um, what colors do you like and everything? So it was just, it was such a positive experience. And, um, I liked it because it made them happy too. They got excited. They're like, this is fun. You know, Let, let's do this. And, um, I, got my first outfit um, and I went out in drag for the first time, like I said, about a year and a half ago. Um, I went with my friends to, um, just to one of the bars. They play music, so we were kind of dancing there and stuff and, you know, we were just having a good time. It was so nice to go out and just, you know, I felt like I was really expressing myself. Like I felt that I was being more true to myself and I, I had never, I hadn't for a long time felt that happy. and. It was such, and you know, I got such a, like, a great response from my friends and the people around me. They were so supportive, um, and they were so excited to see me, and, um, you know, it's just, it's, it made me feel really good, and, you know, that kind of helped snap me out of everything I was going through, and that's why I've continued to do it the way that it makes me feel. Um, now, one question that I do tend to get asked a lot is whether I am... Uh, if I want to be a woman permanently, um, you know, be transgender. I am not transgender. Um, I don't feel the need to make 
a permanent change to myself. Um, I actually, I do enjoy being Chad. I like who I am and, um, you know, I'm, I'm okay with who I am. Um, I enjoy being truly, I'll, I, I like being pretty more. I love being able to dress up and, and look fabulous. And to quote Wesley Snipes from the movie Two Wong Fu, Thanks for Everything, Julie Newmar, when a straight man puts on a dress and gets his sexual kicks, he is a transvestite. When a man is a woman trapped in a man's body and has a little operation, he is a transsexual. When a gay man has way too much fashion sense for one gender, he is a drag queen. You know, I don't necessarily need to go through a full transformation. I don't feel like I am a woman trapped in a man's body or like I was born with the wrong gender or the wrong sex. Um, I, I just feel that I am a performer and this is my creative outlet. And, you know, this is how I can express myself. And, you know, I can be true to myself this way, um, but it's more about uh, um, a creative and artistic um, truth to myself, not um, a change that needs to happen necessarily. Because, you know, this, this will change over time. You know, I'm not always going to be a brunette. I'm not always going to have curly hair. I'm not always going to wear this style of makeup. Um, you know, I try and make my, my look versatile and, you know, I, I change it up and, you know, I don't want to always do the same thing. Um, I also want to play around with doing characters. I'm really excited about doing characters um, because, you know, especially like after watching the Snatch Game on RuPaul's Drag Race and, um, you know, I've seen other drag queens do celebrity impersonations, that is very appealing and looks very fun to me. So that's something that I'd like to do as well. Um, I do have a couple people in mind. I'm not going to give it away right now who I would like to do. Um, but when I do, I will definitely make a video of that and share that with you as well. But anyway, that was my experience. That was, um, you know, how I started doing drag and the reason why I wanted to start doing drag. Um, so, you know, hopefully you you know, like I've introduce myself well enough, you know, I will, hopefully you know me a little bit better now. Um, but yeah, so this channel is going to be a combination of vlogs and makeup tutorials. And then I will also try and post, um, when I do perform, um, you know, I will try and post my performances on this channel as well. So that way you can kind of get a variety of different things. Anyway, I do appreciate everybody who has already subscribed to my channel, um, everybody who has watched my videos, and I appreciate you watching this video. Thank you very much. And if you want to see more of my videos um, or more of my makeup tutorials, keep watching. Go ahead and subscribe and go ahead and give me a thumbs up if you like it. All right. Thank you once again for watching. I'll see you later.